My name's Malin, and I look smarter with glasses on. <laughs> That's starting to become my catchphrase. But it's, it's kind of funny how we have these kind of interpretations with things, you know, when people wear glasses, they must be smarter. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is the trap of as aspiring athletes. When I was in my teenage years, one of my first dreams when I was about 13, 14, was to become a footballer. And that's something that kind of set the tone for the next years of my life. And, you know, I thought like, oh, if I had all this money, if I had all this fame and attention and mastery in this sport, then, you know, my problems would disappear and I'd live a happy life. And this is kind of my way out and how I can, you know, find the happy life and, you know, live my life the way I want to. But I've realized that this all stemmed from insecurities and compensation for like my low self-esteem and my need to kind of fulfill like this big ego that had been built up as a kid, you know, kind of being told that I was smart, that I had great potential. And it wasn't that I was just going to, you know, I wasn't just going to be play music. I had to be a great musician. And it wasn't just that I was going to study and be kind of smart. It's like, oh, I have to be the best, the smartest. Or it wasn't just that I was going to play soccer. It's like, oh no, you have to play soccer in the Premier League. You know, it's like these big expectations were just put on me. And I was kind of like, oh, well, this must be what potential is. So I should go and fulfill that. And all of this was externally focused, you know. I didn't get a lot of attention kind of from my parents, my dad especially. And in soccer was kind of one of the only ways where I guess I kind of felt like he acknowledged me or he wanted to do things for me and he would kind of talk to me about these kind of things. And not just that, but also, you know, that was kind of my identity. That's how other people saw me. That's kind of how I enveloped myself and where I could kind of feel secure. But this was all very shallow because I was trying to fulfill other people's needs, other people's wants, rather than listening to my own intent, internal sense of what I want. And fulfillment comes from within you. You can only be fulfilled in with yourself, not from other people, not from what they want or what they expect of you. And it's up to you to find these things that kind of you want to do. And over the years of kind of chasing this dream, it wasn't it was never very consistent. It was never very steady, you know, as life kind of is. But over the years, I realized that this was really kind of shallow, you know. I'd look at the top game and see like, oh, this is all just a game of politics and money. And there's an over importance on the game. And like, you see people in the interviews and they're just like, oh, we had a great game today. You know, we played really well. We're going to go back next week and we're going to play even harder. You know, just that kind of platitudes and it's just like the same thing over and over and over again. And it's so shallow and robotic and it's just like playing. And then I saw even in my peers and other people that were chasing it, you know, and how caught up in this they were, like this, this bravado, like, oh, look at me, I've just scored a hat trick last weekend. I'm just fucking great this week, you know, I'm on fire. And then when they lose a the game, it's just like, oh, fuck, I'm kicking myself, you know. I should have scored that goal. We should have won. We should have beat them. You know, the ref was so shit and that kind of thing. And at the end of the day, it's just a game. Like, why are we getting so caught up on it? It's just a game. Like, think about why these things were created. It was created so that people could come together and just enjoy these kind of things and compete against each other and have fun and try and become their best selves and like express themselves through this medium. And, you know, it was just for fun. And also this idea of like sport in, in our modern society is just like, it's creating diversity. It's like us versus them. It's our team and we're this tribe and we have to beat all these other people and we're all against them and they're not good and we're, we're good. We're better than them. And even if we lose, we, we're better, we deserve to win, we're going to win next week. And like, at the end of the day, we're all human. So why are we getting so caught up about these kind of stupid rules and these stupid kind of things that are keeping us all separate? You know, and this could be applied to the world. Like, why are we so worried whether someone's this religion, that religion, whether they're this nationality, you know, whether they're American or English or whatever, like, who cares? You know, like, why are we going to pin someone down for just being born in some country that they didn't even get to choose. Like, it's just ridiculous when I think about it. Like, how could you judge someone for being born in some country? Like, oh yeah, I just chose to be born in Australia, you know? That's where I wanted to be born. I just decided, you know, when I was 
coming into the world. I want to be born in Australia. I just want to be Australian. It's just one who I wanted to be. And another idea that comes with like this aspiring kind of athletes and in the sports world is like, you know, you have to work hard. You have to work harder, work harder, focus more, you know, and we see this in class, you know, listen hard, listen to what we're saying, study, you know, you have to work harder. You have to concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. And <laughs> you can even see I was getting like, mm, 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 all rigid and hard, like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> anyway. And so if you just listen, like, listen hard, listen hard now, listen hard to what I'm saying. Make sure you catch everything that I'm saying right now. Your ears will probably like peek up and you'll be like, I'm listening really hard. If you try, if you were really trying to do it, you'd be like, I'm listening hard, but you're, but you're not actually listening any better. Like, are you catching onto the words any better than you did before? No, you're not. Like, things actually come quite easily and naturally to us once we've practiced them or worked on them quite a while, you know, like listening and talking doesn't take a lot of thinking to actually do and fulfill, you know, it just kind of happens. Like, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying. I'm not trying to form the words. I'm not trying to force my words out. They're just coming out. Just like your ears are just listening to this and your eyes are just watching this. They're just relaxed and they're just taking it in. And this is kind of how life should be. It should be a little bit more eased and relaxed rather than, you know, <laughs> there's this quote that just popped into my head that's actually really fitting for this. You know, um, in the game of football, you know, we make the game harder than it really is. And this can be applied to life. We make life harder than it really is. Because we as humans, we have this I, we have this great um, mind that can do all these things. And, you know, we can think all these things and we can put meaning to all these kind of things and think up all these ideas. And we just get trapped up and caught over our own ideas and we're just tripping over them rather than just seeing the world for kind of what it is and being open and relaxed to what it is. And as opposed to overcomplicating, overcomplicating it and creating all our own ideas and trying to fit things into boxes, you know. So I guess that's just kind of what I wanted to say is that at the end of the day, you know, sports, athletics, whatever it is, even music, even pursuits in the arts or whatever you're doing, at the end of the day, what the importance of it is just that you enjoy it and you express yourself through it and that it comes from an internal sense in yourself that you want to do that gives you some sort of fulfillment or contentment in your day-to-day -day life. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.